G'day guys, we've got a single issue Steve here again with my next segment of Five Minutes of Metal and I'm going to talk to you guys about not only one of my favourite bands but also one of my favourite Australian bands and that is these guys here, Vanishing Point. So Vanishing Point are a Melbourne band that have been around since about 1995 and are still producing awesome music to today. Their latest album, which is Dead Elysium, which was released in 2020, um, is an absolute cracker, but I'm actually going to go back a little bit further. I'm going to go back all the way to 2005 um, and talk to you about one of my favourite Vanishing Point albums. Now, this is a really tricky thing for me because I love these guys and I love their music and like a fine wine, their music has just got progressively better over the years. So I'm going to take you back to, as I said, 2005 and talk about Embrace the Silence. Now, apologies for the reflection on the cover. Um, but this is just, it's a beautiful cover too. It's worth even having a look at. So um, this really showcases Vanishing Point's variety of work that they can do in, you know, they've released some, there's some faster stuff on here. There's some heavier stuff. Um, Hollow is a really great quicker track to start with and really gets the album humming along nicely. And there's some beautiful and really well-written ballads in here as well, if you like your softer stuff. Um, I should put my bloody glasses on because I can't see a thing at all. <laughs> Um, where are we? Embraced, which is track five. It's a really, really nice, it's relaxing as well. It's a really beautiful song. Season of Sundays is, for me, a bit of an anthem. I love that song. Um, they played it live when they opened up for Iron Maiden. I can't remember what year it was now. It wasn't the latest tour when they came out to Australia with Book of Souls. Uh, it must have been somewhere in time, not somewhere in time, but somewhere on time or whatever that tour was, probably about oh, 10, 10 plus years ago. And they really got the crowd going. The season of the Sundays really, really got them going. So it's a really, really great track. Um, these guys, as I said, have been around since 1995. They've released about six albums now. Um, Silvio, who's the lead singer, is the original member left, but Chris, who is the guitarist and also is the prolific writer of all the music as well, um, has been in the band for an extremely long time as well. So I guess you could say both of those guys are the two original band members. So. Um, Vanishing Point, definitely sort of more melodic kind of metal as well, a um, bit progressive as well. If you're looking for your sort of black metal and stuff like that, which is interest, interesting enough, Chris is heavily influenced by that sort of stuff, but you won't see this kind of music. Um, if you like your black metal and stuff, this might not be your cup of tea, but I would suggest checking it out. And especially if you're in Melbourne, any time you get a chance to go and see the guys, I highly recommend it. Uh, they played recently, or when I say recently, probably about six months ago at a cool little venue we've got here in Melbourne in a place called Belgrave, which is the Suki Lounge. So shout out to the Suki Lounge because it's a pretty cool place to go. Uh, and they actually play some of their new stuff. So a lot of the stuff off the latest album, Dead Elysium, was written during COVID, so they couldn't get out and perform it live. Um, I know Chris is working on some new stuff at the moment, and I'm so excited to see what they come up with next. But Embrace the Silence is an absolute cracker of an album, a really, really great introduction into Vanishing Point and for all of our Australian people who are watching this at the moment, support your locals, all right? Get out there. Don't just buy their stuff on Spotify and play their music on YouTube music, all that sort of stuff. Buy the CD, spend the money, support the local acts. And for the guys overseas, if you haven't checked them out before, jump online, heaps of great videos on YouTube, jump on all those platforms I told you to pretty much not to go on at the moment and to um, have a listen to some of their music. So they've played at some pretty big festivals as well. They've played at Varken too. Interesting enough, um, I can't remember what year it was for Varken, but their music was actually used as part of the advertising for the whole festival. So obviously they're pretty good and well-respected as well. Um, they've done some songs with um, guys like Tony Kako or Kako from Sonata Arctica. Um, which was on, I don't remember what album, I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, they liked the song that much that the guys from Sonata Arctica actually covered that same song. So I'll try and put it in the comments, guys. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but I just remember it. Um, I think it's Walk Through the Fire, actually. I think, I think I'm right, yeah, Walk Through the Fire. So um, pretty cool when a big overseas act covers an Australian act's music. So Vanishing Point. Fantastic band, Australian band, Melbourne band, great people too, really, really nice blokes. Buy their music, support them, you won't be disappointed. Rock on, everyone.